I want to talk today about hitting approach and what I do when I go online. Um, this is my team, which I'll show you in a few minutes. And really what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you what my approach is. I just hit Hall of Fame, how I'm going to adjust to the new timing and what I'm going to do to try and get wins as I move up towards World Series. So this video is all about just the approach to online play. I will do timing videos and all that stuff later. I won't be streaming this particular game, but I do stream a lot. Twitch.tv slash Mr. Gravy, two A's in gravy, and I do a lot of live tip streams. So... We're streaming just giving you my advice, my approach, how I'm attacking guys, what I'm doing at the plate, what I'm doing on the mound, and just generally how I win ball games. So uh, be sure you tune into those because they can really help you get better. And you can always ask me any questions and I'm very quick to respond no matter how many people are in chat. So that being said, let's get into an online rank game and just look at approach and just see how we're gonna attack. This is my lineup, the way I have it constructed right now. I've got Chisholm, Trout, Seeger, Pujols, Mullins, Rushman, Tucker, uh, Marte. That's going to be my one through eight. We're just going to see how this goes. Actually, I think in this game, I'm going to swap Tucker and Mullins, and hopefully that'll pay off. This guy's got a good team, but it's not an incredible team. So I think it's something we can definitely beat. Looks like this guy chose Laughing Mountain, and quite frankly, I'm going to put this out there to start. Laughing Mountain, there's no shame in picking it. It's the best place to hit home runs. And if you're struggling to hit for power, this really isn't a terrible idea. It's not a terrible call to go ahead and pick the stadium that you're going to hit best in. So here we go. When I start this game, I know that Casey Mize is a sinker baller. We're on Hall of Fame. The ball comes in pretty hot. I'm looking to protect, so I'm going to keep my PCI up. So I'm going to keep my PCI up here, and I'm going to do what I can to attack one of these sinkers or fastballs that stay in the zone. It's so important not to chase early in games because we don't want to raise the pitch confidence. That's a great sinker. He just drops it right in down there. That's a swing we maybe take with two strikes. And there we go. Look at that. To start the game, we go Oppo Taco with a fastball in the outside corner. Really, all we're doing is we're keeping our PCI up with the anchor and we're pushing. And look at that. Look at that, how I got to quit. And you know what? Maybe this will be the video, right? Because sometimes this guy offered me a friendly quit, right? He saw my averages. He saw everything. Instantly hit a home run off him and he quits. And I'll tell you what, in ranked seasons, it's all about getting in your opponent's head, right? It's all about just doing what you can to just dig a little deeper. He throws me a fastball away. I'm protecting fastball sinker, something that I feel like I can put a barrel on. I get something to hit and boom, I'm able to go the other way with it, hit a home run and he quits right away. Now this is probably the shortest ranked game I've ever played, but this all happens in live time, right? Like I don't have to even really edit this very much at all, right? Like, but that's what I'm saying. Like that kind of approach really does go a long way just having a game plan with each and every at bat and, and that's kind of the thing that i wanted wanted to get across in this video so i'm recording another game simply because i happen to match up against a left-handed pitcher here and a guy who really isn't too terrible so i want to show you this approach one more time number 30. all right so here's a lefty lefty at bat he starts me off with a slider away and let's see if he busts inside or not he did. He went right after me with that sinker inside. That time we got a hold of it. So some of our failures are turning into knowledge. He kind of has the same approach to these lefties over and over again. Pretty soon we'll figure out his right-handed approach. The shortstop. Right now, Marte. Marte. Boom. Gone. Why did we? Why did we hit that? I never even got a chance to talk about it. But why did we hit it? He has been trying to punish down and down and in all game to righties. This is the first time he left one. That was kind of a little bit more over the plate. I'm just making sure I'm not getting beat by the hard stuff, and I'm able to hit that out. So regardless of the fact that I struck out this inning a few times, regardless of the fact that I've had a couple of bad at-bats, I'm able to completely turn the inning around just by staying consistent with my approach, knowing that I can't get beat on the hard stuff. I can't get beat on the sinker, can't get beat on the fastball, and so I have to make sure I'm always out in front of that. Eventually, I'll catch one of the off-speed, or I'll catch a sinker like that. All right, chance for Seeks here. The third baseman. Yes, dude. That's inner half attacking that, making sure we didn't get beat on that off speed. That was just a knee ball. We'll take a grand slam and go up 62. Okay, so we're fast forwarding a little bit, but this is how this game ends 
And you can really see after the fifth inning, right? Fifth inning onward, when I hit that grand slam with Corey Seager, I just stick with that approach. I just constantly am taking away the hard stuff. And as he brought in his relievers who throw the ball hard, he started giving up more and more home runs. And as you can see from the fifth inning on, I really started to hit really well. And, and honestly, this is the approach I've always had. Those first couple innings are really just to try to pick up patterns, pick up what he's trying to do to me. And then towards the later innings, I'm looking to execute a little bit more finely. I'm, I'm really making sure that I'm out in front of those inside pitches and stuff like that. Uh, making sure that when I'm pitching, I've got a good read on what he's doing. I will learn those things in those first couple innings. You can see he had a burst in the first inning. I was able to shut him down in the middle innings. As I went to my relief pitching, he started picking up on me until I was able to adjust again. And so really the big takeaway from this is that this game is all about making tiny adjustments, but being consistent in your approach. When you're at the plate, you have a job. You have something that you need to do with each player. You know that if you're at a lefty situation, your lefties are protecting one side of the plate. If it's a right-handed pitcher, maybe you're protecting that bottom part or you're protecting that inside part. If it's a righty-righty situation, you're taking away that inside corner. If it's a lefty-lefty situation, you're taking away that inside corner. So not getting beat by the hard stuff is the key to winning in MLB the show. It really is. You just can't get beat by the hard stuff. You talk, look at any of these top players. When fastballs get thrown to them, if they're in the zone, they smoke them. And what it allows them to do is when you have that fastball or sinker perfectly timed, it allows you to slow down when that off speed's coming. And when you slow down, you're able to get out in front, get that barrel out in front of those off speed, and you're crushing those as well. Hopefully Hopefully this helped you. We're going to get more and more tip videos as things come along. Don't worry. We're going to put it all together as time goes on. Don't forget to check out the stream, twitch.tv slash Mr. Gravy. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, happy hitting.